Thanks for staying with us. So Connor, I've seen the Hall of Languages in so many different colors, whether it's orange, purple, but now it's in this beautiful shade of blue. Morgan Trow is here to talk about what this means for the Syracuse campus and community. Thanks guys. The Hall of Languages has been the color teal since the start of April to spread the word on Sexual Assault Awareness Month, but that's not the only place you'll see teal on campus. Teal Tuesday is one of the numerous events that the Office of Health Promotion and Student Organization, It's On Us SU, is hosting for this important cause. Teal ribbons were available in Shine Atrium and the Go Teal Office Decorating Contest will be judged this upcoming Friday. By going teal, your office shows it will not be a bystander and it will support victims of sexual abuse. From last week to this Monday in Shine Student Center, there's a large poster where people can write how they would feel if sexual violence did not exist. This vision board was created to shed light on how different the world would be if there were no sexual assault. The notes written on the board will be read at the end of next week. Yesterday, SU Library showed a book called Jarring Three by Mirabella Jones. She's the founder of Art Against Assault and her project shares the narratives of survivors in a creative way. The delicate books made of paper and sculptures and letterpress. So many other organizations are getting involved, like Women in Communications, who hosted a panel on workplace harassment, Theta Chi Fraternity, who participated in a comedic performance on masculinity, and students advocating for sexual safety and empowerment, who are holding a screening with the It's On Us SU on the documentary Misrepresentation. Other panels happening this month are the Sport Venue and Event Managing Graduate Program's discussion on domestic and sexual abuse in the sports industry, and Food for Thought, which is run by the Equal Opportunities Inclusion and Resolution Services. It's a luncheon for all groups and people fighting sexual assault on campus. All month long, SU is shining its heel light on sexual violence. More information on this could be found at the Promotions website or the Be Well Facebook page. If you or someone you know has been affected by sexual or domestic violence, please contact immediate support to help sort out what you feel is best for you to do. Trained professionals can help. You can contact SU's Counseling Center for Sexual and Relationship Violence, Vera House in Syracuse, Health Services, the Department of Public Safety, and so many more. All this information is listed online at the counselingcenter.syr.edu.